Hi, I'm Andrew Hoffman with UF Pulse TV, bringing you an inside look into the Oiler lacrosse program. Today, I'm here with head coach Amy Long alongside three of her captains. Ladies, if you want to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Kaylee Ellis. I am a defender on the team and a senior. I'm Erin Codger. I'm a senior midfielder. I'm Olivia Bukowski. I'm a fifth year goalie. Coach, this is your first year with the Oilers. How are you approaching developing a well-rounded and cohesive team culture with your first season? Yeah, I was really fortunate to inherit a really good team culture. Um, they all get along and work really hard together. Um, so I was really fortunate in that and just continuing to build off of that really strong foundation that, that I received when I, when I got here. Um, focusing on getting them to know each other. Uh, we had some fun um, like coffee dates in the fall where they match up with teammates and you know, utilizing that time together to, to make sure that we're immersing our freshmen into that and um, just keeping that focus on playing and winning as a team. Can you share a little bit about your coaching philosophy and how it translates into your coaching style for lacrosse? Yeah, really focus on uh, continual improvement every day, wanting to get that 1% better every day, every week. Um, seeing our players as, as people first and making sure they're succeeding in the academic world, the lacrosse field and outside of those two arenas as well. Um, and again, just really focusing on, on uh, our team culture and working as a group. As captains, what strategies do you find motivate your, and inspire your teammates, both on and off the field? Um, I think a big part of it starts with us as captains and our own actions. So coming up to practice every day to like work hard and raise the intensity. And I think that, you know, the energy rolls off of us onto our teammates. So ra yeah, raising intensity during practice, but then we're also a big um, goal driven team. So one thing that we do at the beginning of every year is we sit down and we decide as a team, what do we want to accomplish and set some goals for the year that really, you know, we strive to accomplish those throughout the year. Can you talk to me a little bit about those goals? Yeah, I mean, I think a big one for us every year is to win the GMAC, the championship. Um, we've made it to the championship game the last two years, and unfortunately, it just fell a little bit short. Kelty will take that shot, a high save by the goalkeeper, but not enough time for them to sling that ball back down the end of the field. Just like that, the Cavaliers have won another conference championship. Walsh University, nine. Findlay, eight. So I think that's one that always fuels us is to finally bring home that ring. Um, but then also other ones just about how we play individually, playing the full 60 minutes um, and every opportunity, just take it to get better. In a competitive lacrosse environment, how do you balance the focus on individual school skill development as well as team strategy? I think just showing up willing to work and give 100% effort every day can be super motivating for my teammates, like Kaylee said. Um, and then in turn, when my teammates show up and give 110% effort, um, it motivates me as well. So I think just showing up ready to work every day as a unit can be super motivating and inspiring. So that's really important. Being older members of the Oilers squad, how did you guys help adjust the younger players to having a new coaching staff? Well, when I came in as a freshman, we had a coaching change. So it was kind of similar to the girls that came in this year. and. A lot of unsure things but that worked well for us and then those four years went by and we're back to that point and we were excited to kind of see where a new coach and a new program would take us and that we're all going through it together and it's going to be a learning experience for everyone and I think we've come out on the other end really positive with it so we just want to get that ring do whatever it takes <laughs> coach how do you approach player development particularly in terms of helping players reach their full potential both athletically and personally yeah, I think, again, meeting them where they're at, seeing them so supportive of one another and making sure that we have that accountability, that we're all getting better, you know, in the classroom, on the, on the lacrosse field. And it's um, a push and pull to accountability. Like they're pushing each other, but they also recognize when a teammate needs pulled up. Um, we also talk about our energy and how contagious that is, that there's never a neutral day. There's never a day where you show up and don't contribute either, either positively or negatively to your team. So knowing that their energy is contagious and they're working hard to push each other. Um, and again, that, that big goal we have of winning, winning conference. Um, again, they're hungry, they're motivated, and, and that helps with that development. Last year, you guys ended the season with a 9-10 record. Can you talk about uh, what are some key things you guys have been working on to improve this season, and maybe some new team strategies you're working on? Um, I would say just hammering the basics and what we need to do to be successful and like, to continue to be successful and have a whole winning season to get us to that big stage. And it's a lot what we talked about, but like just our culture that like we can do it, why not us, and that we're going to get it done. The ladies are back at home Saturday, March 9th to face off against Quincy. The first draw goes up at noon and you can catch it here on UF Pulse TV.